welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Testing Concept Series. In today's episode, we are going to learn all about what is smoke testing. It's extremely important that all these concepts should be clear to everybody, especially the ones who are trying to progress into their career into the next level. Be it QA, developer, architect, or even for DevOps, all these concepts are a must. And hence, I'm bringing this series to you. Let's go ahead and learn about smoke testing. This is part nine of the testing concept series. Today we are learning about smoke testing. All right, so let's start with some of the basics first. What is smoke testing? Smoke testing is a type of functional testing that is performed to verify that the most critical functions of an application are working correctly. Usually this smoke testing takes place whenever you have a new build, or whenever you have a new set of functionality being rolled into the higher environment. Smoke testing is often concerned with ensuring that the core functionality of the application is working and is stable enough to proceed with more testing. For example, let's say QA has 100 set of test cases out of which 15 are extremely critical that your application has to perform. So smoke testing will involve only testing those initial 15 test cases to make sure that the primary functionality of that page or of that particular module or of that feature is working. Smoke testing typically involves the execution of a predefined set of test cases that are designed to test the most critical functions of the application. Smoke testing can help us identify defects and issues that may affect the core functionality very early on in the process. That being said, let's see what's the outcome of smoke testing. The outcome of smoke testing either a pass or a fail. The QA will give a sign off or will say that the build is not stable. After executing those 15, 20 top critical test cases, once QA confirms that all the functionality, the core functionality is working, they can then proceed to continue with their complete set of testing. What happens when the software fails the smoke test? It is typically returned back to development for further work or fixes and then proceed with their own development fixes. However, the goal of smoke testing is to quickly identify any critical or core functionality breaking defects. And hence, smoke testing is extremely critical whenever we have a new build. Some of the advantages Smoke testing can identify defects and issues that may affect the core functionality. Like I said, the whole point of smoke testing is to quickly check that the core functionality is working. If not, then return back the build. Smoke testing also provides very valuable feedback about the quality of the application. For example, if you change a little bit of configuration and your core functionality breaks, that means your application is not stable enough for changes. That means a lot of work has to be done, a lot of refactoring has to be done in order to make the application stable. The one of the best benefits of smoke testing is that it can be performed very early in the process. Be it at the end of the sprint, be it in the middle of the sprint, whenever there is a new build that's been uh, ready or whenever when developers merges a code, we can quickly perform smoke testing and make sure that all the core functionality code is working. In a lot of leading enterprises, smoke tests are often automated. And by using the automation tools, either unit testing or by running end-to-end -end scripts, we can make sure that the core functionality always remains intact and always pass. In all, it helps in overall quality of the software because any defects that are caught early in process always helps at reducing the times of deployment cycle. All right, so that's all about smoke testing that you should know as part of the concept. In the next episode, we will learn about user acceptance testing. Why is it important? What role you have to play as a both developer as well as QA? We'll learn all about it. We'll continue this series. Please join, join me in the next episode as well. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.